hello everyone and welcome to part two of the holiday vlogs um we have just had breakfast and i'm just about to head down to the pool as you can see I've got this little i don't really want to show you me in the beginning but it's like it crosses at the back um so i've got this one on jack and me are actually matching not in patterns but in colors unintentionally we did that yesterday as well we both had a red one on um and today we both got like gray and black but um i just want to show you this product i've been using so every year on holiday i always burn my scalp um sunbathing now i have been good at putting hats on but this has been so good at not making my hair like greasy either um and also i've been using this to try and protect my hair no not that one i was gonna say that one but i've been using that one in the evenings this one I've been using in the day, which is the Lee Stafford Coco Loco Holiday Hair Hero, which is supposed to help protect your hair, which I think it's kind of been helping. I don't know. I feel like that paired with the Calyp is it Calypso? No, Malibu. Calypso is an ice lolly. I don't know why I thought that. Um, paired with the Malibu one has actually been really, really helpful. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and chill by the pool for a bit. It, we are like halfway through our holiday now. Um, but yeah, gonna go and chill by the pool all day, I think. And then, yeah, I'll update you when we move from there. So I don't know if I've shown you, but this is the pool area for the sun loungers. Don't get your fit, no one wants to see that. And that is where we're staying, our hotel block. But there's bits all around. And the snack bars over there, I don't wanna be filming anyone in particular. But, um, yeah, this is the port, so it's quite cold actually when we go in it, but it makes it really nice. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you the pool area, and then there's a little pool area over there somewhere as well, but we haven't ventured that way yet. have seen jack doing like this runny slide thing at the pool since then obviously we've come upstairs i've got ready does anyone else have this where like they're usually like they obviously take longer to get ready and usually their boyfriend would moan at them for taking a long time to get ready and then their there. boyfriend isn't ready when you're ready i'm completely ready jack's not not dressed you can take anywhere between half an hour and two hours to get ready so unless you keep me up and when you said to me how long will you be and i said 10 minutes that was yesterday that was earlier cool come on put some clothes on get dressed so we can head out um but i'm wearing this dress i've had this dress for ages and i'm never sure on it but you said it looks nice don't you it does my dear yes thanks this top is too big i feel like i'm not sure on it Jack's got this on. Well, let me check stuff out. Oh, okay. Rude. Um, but yeah, I've got this dress on. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? For some Does reason, it go with black? Does it go with black? I don't know. Someone just doesn't look right. The only thing that doesn't go with black is brown, and you haven't got brown on. Do you think I have that? It's not just a school pee top. Ouch, I just oh. hit my arm. Look out, because I'm hungry. Um, yeah, for some reason, I've brought a lot of like long-sleeved evening wear things, which I don't know why, because it's like 32 degrees. But um, yeah, we're gonna grab some dinner, go to, um, I think you wanted to go to the shop, didn't you? Uh, if we've yeah, got time. Like a... If we've got time, we'll go to the shop. Um, and then tomorrow we've decided we're gonna head into Parma. We should probably find out some more about that food bus actually. Yeah, we'll um, but head into Parma and have a day there. So I'll show you what Parma looks like. But we're gonna grab something to eat. I'm probably gonna have pizza and chips again. There's no doubt about it. Oh, when I went down, it, there was, you know how they gave you a margarita for Mexican night? Well, they gave you oh, a, drink. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant pizza. When I was like, what? In, there was um, a sign that said love on the beach. And I don't know what food that means it's going to be. Hawaiian? Huh? Hawaiian? Name me a Hawaiian food. Pizza. Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> Which you wouldn't eat. No, I wouldn't. We um, would just take pineapple. Yeah, it's ham, pineapple. I like ham. 
Anyway, we're gonna grab something to eat, and if it's something different from pizza and chips, I'll show you. Otherwise, but it might be. I'll show otherwise, you mine. it's mine pizza be, and chips. Mine will be exciting. <laughs> so I've got something different. I've got this, which I don't know what it is, but it looks really nice. And lamb chop and onion rings, as well as pizza. And I've got these cocktails that we'd love on the beach. And Jack's got the same thing as me, and I don't know what the hell that other stuff is. But we've discovered seven o'clock is the time to come down and get food. Look how empty it is. Whereas yesterday you were literally fighting for a seat. So we're just walking along here, and we can't decide if that's the sun or the moon. <laughs> it's, it's ten to eight in the evening. It's the sun. I think it's quite high for the sun, but quite big for the moon. But it doesn't look like the moon. Well, wow. where's the moon at then? The moon wouldn't be out yet, would it? Well, if anyone knows. Meat counter in a Spanish supermarket. It's absolutely huge. I feel like ham, don't they? Huh? Ham. Like ham. Yeah, they've got loads of stuff. It's so. I feel like it's a lot cheaper with some stuff, but then that's more expensive than what it would be. Some of it seems so much cheaper, doesn't it? So. Oh, I thought it was a bit soft. Oh, they've got like a proper fish counter. I'm so excited. We've already had a look at the makeup too. I don't know, it's just different. Seasonings, we don't need to buy any seasonings. So we're just having a sort of explore. And... Everything looks the same. Everywhere looks the same. <laughs> and we're not lost. Oh, we're just unsure. Unsure about where we are. I think we need to go right here. Jack, I think that's the cut through we came up the other day when we passed the people with the dogs. Because I don't really want to go on the beach. I've got sandals on. Pardon? Okay, yeah, we'll go that way. No, I know we won't. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a look at... This is the ground we're dealing with. So we're going towards like cute beachy views Oops. and um, it is lovely but it's a little bit cloudy tonight so oh I just got dust in my shoe um we said about looking at the sunset from here but I'm glad we didn't come down to do that tonight because the clouds you just can't see it that's exactly where the clouds are but I will show you in a sec so this is the view that we accidentally discovered a few days ago so, it was the first day, right? Yeah, a few days ago it was the first day. <laughs> and it's so nice, but um, we kind of don't really know how to get down to there. Like, there's a really steep road, as you can probably see that car's going down. But there isn't any path, so we don't really know, like, a safe way of walking there. Um, but perhaps we'll try at some point. This is where the sun sets, so I think that means it's not where it rises. But I, I mean, we haven't got time this week. But it would be lovely to see what's going on like all the way over there in the distance because there's obviously a lot more happening over there but i don't know which direction is palmer is that palmer over there uh yeah i believe so okay well there we go we might see it tomorrow then so we've come back up to the hotel room we're in darkness for some reason everyone else's balcony lights on and ours just went off so that's annoying um but yeah obviously i've taken my makeup off now We've just been playing cards and the entertainment this evening. We we're a little bit confused actually because the animation team, so it's Wednesday and the animation team did like a, well, what do you, do you say it was like their last night? Well, it said on there that it was the last day of the animation season. Which and I, I think I is weird. I can't even describe what they were doing. They were trying to dance and act and it was just a bit strange. I think it's weird for a Wednesday midweek who just finishes at midweek and it's like the 6th of September so I would have thought I could understand if we were in October but I would have thought it would run through you thought it got a little bit longer I mean we'll see if they do anything by the pool tomorrow no we won't because we're not going to be here okay we'll see if they do anything tomorrow evening because yeah we're going to as I said a million times we're going to go to Palmer tomorrow and we've booked a bus for that We've now. booked a bus for it, yeah. Which luckily we didn't know we had to do. No, so there was like a little notice type thing um, to say that there was like a free bus that runs. What is that in the pool? Can you see that? Where? Over there. Yeah, that kind of like little... A thing that's thing like, there. yeah. Um, it was a drone bug. 
Oh, um, yeah, there was this notice about there being like a little free shuttle bus on. Um, and Jack went and basically said today, like, oh, is this every Thursday? It's one of them things when you already know the answer to the question, but you just ask it anyway. I wanted to know. It you knew it was every Thursday. Like, there's there. a sign that says it's every it Thursday. It says there, Thursday, but you just like, three, But you just go, oh, is this running this Thursday? You just have to ask. I, I think it's just like a, I don't British know, just a British thing, like insecurity, like, oh, is it? It's like, <laughs> you know the answer to the question. It's a good job we checked. Like, but it is a good thing that I you ask. And they said, oh, yeah, you have to book it. I was planning on just rocking up tomorrow morning. Well, I would have just assumed, I just assumed it was a public bus. Yeah, so did I. Well, not, I it's a free, yeah. it's a complimentary one run by the hotel. I suppose, but, but I would have assumed it to be a coach, so I wouldn't have expected there to be, like, limited places. They did say we could have gone 11 till 5, and I went on the 9 to 3 instead. Yeah, no, that does make more sense because really, we could get back. It would leave at five, which you said it's like at least half an hour away. And we like to come up to the room and get ready and stuff. So we'll have like an hour to chill by the pool if we want to. Um, but yeah, anyway, basically, you had to book the tickets and you had to book them the night before. So thankfully, so we've done that. <laughs> luckily, I went up and did it. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, Jack's done that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to bed now. It's like. Oh, it's like midnight, isn't it? You don't have to yawn just because you have to get ahead to bed. <laughs> I know. I really thought, oh, no, I am going to yawn. I've got, like, heat rashes on, so I'm really itchy. But, um, yeah, we're going to head to bed now. You're not going to yawn? I just did. <laughs> Contagious of yawns. We're going to head to bed and get some sleep, have some breakfast, and then head out tomorrow. We've got to make sure we get breakfast before. So yeah. you can see Palm with us. And then a nice meal in Parma, hopefully. Oh, you said Hard Rock Cafe, didn't you? There's a Hard Rock, yeah. We haven't been out We'll for have a look and see if it's nearby. Um, and we'll probably go to Hard Rock, because that's the thing you've got to go to every Hard Rock. But yeah, um, we can explore Parma together tomorrow. So, we've just been dropped in Parma. And we've already gone a bit wrong. Not that we fully know where we're going. It's because I trusted Becca. She went, let's go that way. I'm yeah, I was like, way, let's guys. go this way. And it led to Because we're going towards like the boats and stuff. So I thought, oh, we're going towards like the marina. And it turned out we we're going towards, what's it called? Like a ferry port or something. Yeah. A bit of a yeah. Port. So obviously we couldn't get through that way. And I felt really bad because this couple who were on our coach, I think they were following us because they were like, oh yeah, they know where they're going. Um, not. But I didn't know where we were going. So we we've just, we yeah, so we will show you around Palma. As we drove in, we could see the water and it looked really lovely. All the marina was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so I want to have a look around there at some point. Um, not really seeing any like town part yet, but we can it's see the beach. Right Maybe we should just join that tour. For just people. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have a little look around and then. I will show you anything lovely that we see. So we're on one side of the marina. So many of these boats here. The water's not very clean, is it? What are you expecting? Sea water? Yeah, but the water's quite clear. No, people wee in it. Oh, look, there's fishes. Can you see? Fishes, or just fish? Yeah, just fish. Um, Some expensive boats. Yeah. We found a McDonald's and they've got like a full on. Oh, it's actually very affordable. I mean, it's McDonald's. Have a look inside. Okay, wonder if we're getting there. This is much posher than our McDonald's. Should we try to do it in Spanish? No. English, sure. Because when we went to Grand Caria, they had. Um, Beer, didn't they? I just, I, yeah, I'm not going with, I just want to see if they've got anything <sighs> different. No, that's not the same, isn't it? Sandwiches and meals. Have a look at the breakfast. Spicy oh, little nuggets. Bourbon. Egg. Double egg in a bacon. In a in a burger. Honey oh, mustard for the meal. Not bourbon. Barbecue and bacon. Oh, barbecue. Oh, yes. crispy. Should we try that? Um, it's 10am. So? Firstly, no. Secondly, do you think they'll even have it? Just the product, six euros ten. What? Is that good? No. Go, look on the One breakfast. One euro forty for chicken mayo. What bargain? There isn't a breakfast section. Yes, there was. Go on the screen. Oh, breakfast. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's 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 good.
Okay, breakfast, breakfast ends at 10 a.m., does it? Well, I'm guessing. Yeah, that is almost 10 a.m. What do you reckon the spicy milk nuggets are like? I don't know, but I don't think we need to get any. But yeah, basically this is the um, menu. It's a lot of posher here. And they've got like a seating area. We can head out to the library. An outdoor seating area and the bakery that's really cute. Um, but we're not getting anything. Those Calzadonia shops. No, I'm sure am I. But it was in Portugal, and ever since then I've seen it everywhere. Well, to be honest, it's not the kind of place you would look. But absolutely not. I'll never get my ears pierced. Huh? This is cute. It's very hot. It's only 10 a.m. It's probably about 30 degrees. Oh look, that looks cute. Jack's just spotted this ice cream place. Oh. Hello. Oh, they all look Kinder. so good. Yeah, I think that's what I'll go for. Are you getting one? Yeah. Do you reckon that's my last to scoop? Yeah, I do. Oh, they've got speculoos. If you... Oh, I don't know what to get. Yes, I do. Oh, but they've got Dolce Neck. I don't know what to get. Are you getting Kinder? Yeah, I'm having Kinder. And then I'll have a Kinder. No, I don't like that. Well, if you get Kinder, and I'll get a Dolce, can I have a bit of yours? Yeah, sure. Could I have two scoops of the Kinder? Okay, Kinder? Uh, in a cup. Two, two. So we got ice creams. I got Dolce. No, you didn't. <laughs> I got Dolce de Leche. <laughs> You'll see a little video of how Becca tries to pronounce I it. got caramel. <laughs> and what did you get, Jack? Kinder. Show us the Kinder one then. It's got the same as yours, really. No, it doesn't. It's ice cream, yeah. Got a little cone on it. 11 I mean, euros for this ice cream. <laughs> that we like to buy I saw them. a post though, and it said when you're on holiday, you treat money like it's Monopoly money. And you yeah, it's because it's cash, isn't it? Yeah, who cares? Um, but yeah, we're going to enjoy these. We've just come to an indoor market. It looks like there's loads around, doesn't there? Nice. Cheese stool just there. Oh, I like them pretty big bags. You know what? Them pretty big bags. No. Oh, cool. Let's have a little look at everything. So we've stopped for a mid morning snack of Popeyes, which <laughs> is not very Spanish. I just, I've never tried it. I've never tried it either. So. No, I you made me get chicken burger in one. No, I didn't. Basically, I don't like spicy stuff, and Jack was going to get this spicy thing, so obviously I said, well, that's fine, I'll get it. means I can't have any. Yeah, well, I can't. <laughs> um, so we've got Cajun fries to share. Can you get the burger out so we can have a look at what it looks like? That's hot. Yeah, they are hot. What the fuck? That's very barbecue. Where for a trick them? On the bottom. It's only a small bit, clearly. Oh, but... It's tiny. This is what the burger looks like. So it does look really good to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's what we've got. We're actually gonna go out for lunch, but we just thought- This is just like Eleven's, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shall we go? We're sharing it, so it's not bad. So we've just tried the burger, um, which I would say is actually quite small. That's all that's left. <laughs> that I've had one bite. is Becca's one of the, the best burgers I've had that's a fast food burger. Mm, better than Mackey's. Yeah, it is. Chips are really hot, so we're actually struggling to eat them in a minute. But the burger. What's weird? Can I just say what's weird? I've got Fanta Lemon, but they're giving me like a coffee style lid to drink it out. That is weird. I did think yeah. that. At least she gave us two straws. She obviously knows we're sharing. Good fun to them. It's because we went in and ordered one meal for two people. Of course she knows we're sharing. <laughs> oh, these are cute. <laughs> I wasn't planning on sharing. Well. Not, the, not as much of the burger as that anyway. But it's really nice, so sorry. I might have another bite yet. I really recommend that. It's the barbecue. Bacon and chicken mum. Really good. There's a few Popeyes I think in the UK now. Is there? I think I'll so. I'll try some. Big kids in the way, Jack. Big kids in the way, that way looks nice. Or we can go down that way, it's up to you. 
Show you what we've got. What did I get? You're not going to explain that you've just learned still how to flip the camera. <laughs> I've just learned. Um, I got a barbecue cheeseburger. What did you get? A Diablo or something? Spicy Diablo. So Spicy Diablo. Loads of jalapeno. Look at that top layer there. Oh. Yeah. What was the other thing he offered you? Pardon? Instead of jalapenos. I've got these are like crispy oh. onions. Yes. You like it? Yeah, so I get my burger medium, which is obviously quite pink. So much better. Yeah, pink. That's all right. Yeah, it's pink, and I love having it. Obviously, safely, but like medium. So nice. So we have just actually, I've had a change of outfit. Well, I haven't had a full change of outfit. I just put my face in one afterwards because it was very really hot. And we are. Is this the marine? No, because no, that's my face off. But yeah, we're just walking along the seafront now. And we're just gonna chill for a bit whilst we wait for our bus. And hopefully if there's somewhere to get a drink, get a drink, because it is very, very warm. So we just grabbed a drink. I'm having a little wonder because we just saw some water. I like water. <laughs> we saw a piece of water, so we headed towards here. Those little stools and caricature drawings and stuff. So we're back and we've just come back to the room just to get our swimwear on. Then we're gonna go down to the pool, but I am suffering with heat rash. It doesn't even look that bad in the camera, but I've got it both sides. Um, that is the only place I've got it. And a little bit, have I got a little bit here? A little bit on my chest as well, but um, I always get it like there on my arms. It's so annoying. And I don't even really know why. Obviously, I know it's not burn because, well, it's just not. <laughs> but I, I don't really know what to do with heat rash. I've put obviously like after sun and stuff on it because it came up yesterday. And then I tried to keep it out of the sun a bit today. Um, it's just a bit difficult, isn't it? Like, it's warm. I'm going to be going to go and get in the swimming pool, which is cool. So that'll cool it down. But obviously, it's also gonna be heating up my skin when I'm out. So, I don't really know. Jack doesn't suffer with heat rash, do you? No, not really. So, me and my red arms um, are gonna go down to the swimming pool in a mo because it's still lovely and warm. So we've still got the rest of our afternoon. We're just gonna spend probably like, I don't know, about an hour down there maybe. And then we'll end up coming up and getting ready for the evening and seeing what entertainment they've got on tonight. So we've just got ready to go and have some dinner and go to the entertainment. So I've done my hair in a bun. I feel like, it, well, it has lived in a bun, hasn't it, this holiday? Oh yeah, I think I've seen your hair Nope. Um, but I've put on this black vest top, these chino -ish. Oh, I can show you in the mirror. Black vest top? Who thought Black vest top. I feel like, I, well, I have worn this outfit before. <laughs> um, I don't know if I wore this though. But um, I just ran out of outfits, basically. But yeah, I'm gonna put this shirt on. It's like pink and orange striped. It's a Primark one, I think. Yeah, Primark one. Um, not really 
too sure if it goes with that, but I kind of want to cover the um, heat rash situ that we've got going on. Could you see it in this light, all right? Not really, you can't really yeah. see it. No, you can't really see that much. You can, red. There, you can see it. Yeah. But it's not as much as um, you can see in person. And Jack, what are you on? Primark. On the Bob dirtiest shoes. shoes ever. Yeah, very dirty easy. This is supposed to be white. When you look at this, they're not. And they're Jack, oh them. my god, I could kill you. You always do that. I've got nothing on this top though. Yet. Jack is the messiest person ever. But also, he's put on black underwear underneath white shorts. Also, does anyone I else. Don't have black underwear. I don't think any boys in general have. No, I wouldn't wear white. You've underwear. got grey underwear though. But that's just a lighter shade of black. It's like, it's not like, it's still dark, isn't it? The only thing that would be acceptable would be like white underwear. No, because what you shouldn't really wear white under white. It should be nude under white, or apparently red under white. Boys don't have nude underwear. Exactly, that's why grey would work. Please tell us we're not the only ones who keep a messy room. Excuse me. Especially Jack. Jack's is so messy. <laughs> that is a neat pile. On the floor. Um, obviously, that's my bag that I'm taking now, so that's why that's there. But in general, we leave stuff everywhere. So we just come back to the hotel room. Because Becca wouldn't let me dance. Um, yeah, we just played. Oh, so we played air hockey earlier. And can you remember who won, Jack? Yeah, you. How many times did I win? Twice. Twice. I won twice. What about when we just played pool? Like a proper sport rather than a lucky air one. Sport? It's a, it's a hobby, darling. It's a sport. Um, Pool's a sport? Maybe? I don't know. Pool's a sport. No, it's not. So, yeah, we came back to um, the hotel. I won air hockey twice. Jack won pool twice. Three times. In air hockey, I got Three times. a very... In air hockey, I've got a very serious injury to this <laughs> finger. <laughs> so the, is it called a puck? Probably, hockey's called a puck. The puck thing got like stuck in the goal bit. <laughs> and <laughs> me and Jack both thought, oh, we'll try and get it out. So I, Jack went, went to... <laughs> I had like the little... He had the um, thing that you, I don't know what it's called, but the, you know what I mean, the mover. You guys know what I mean. Um, and he went to slam it at the thing <laughs> and I went to use my finger to move the thing and uh, and um, yeah I'm sure you can imagine the thing went <laughs> the thing went into my finger <laughs> but but it was like the time I had already started mid game I just continued with my injury and it's actually fine it did really hurt at the time it doesn't actually hurt at all now to be fair but um yeah, I got injured. <laughs> and then, yeah, we were playing pool. And so, <laughs> can you see this bruise? I have this bruise. I don't know where it came from, but it's really annoying because it's purple and it just sticks out like a sore thumb or a bruise. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. You were so, about me back when you were pool, I think. We were playing pool and on the table next to us was a French family and I can't speak any other languages. It's really bad, I know. But I can speak very limited French. What, like whoa, 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 whoa. Define very limited. You could say hello, my name is I could say Have a conversation in French with me. Bonjour, je m'appelle Becca. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jacques. Ça va? Oui, ça va bien et toi? Ça va bien. Oui. Je voudrais un café. No, I don't think you would. You don't drink coffee. No, but it means I would like a coffee, doesn't it? Y yeah. Great, I can speak some French. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's quite limited. But like, I can understand certain words. But this French family, obviously, there's quite a lot of French people here. So I think that... Um, most places we've been, like, mm. the assumption is that you're English, whereas here I think the assumption is that you're French. Everyone knows we're English, they can spot us a mile. Actually, a few people have spoken to me in French. So the French man, who I think might have been a bit drunk, um, 
said something to me and I felt awful but I just looked at him like what <laughs> I didn't know what he said so Jack can actually speak quite good French so Jack's having a conversation and this is like the second or third time he's done this today where he starts having a conversation with someone in French and then they get like too deep and he has to go sorry I'm English I don't know what that means like it happened with yeah. the man near the toilet didn't yeah. it Jack was speaking to him about his little boy a little conversation in French and then he started getting a bit too deep and, I'm and like, then, then Jack sorry, was like <laughs> sorry I'm English <laughs> don't know any more than but that but it's good that they they obviously think, think French, that you yeah. can speak French it's really good um and you can speak quite good French. Like, you can say a load of stuff, which I wouldn't know if you're telling... Like, you can sing a laws on dance, that's French. I can sing a laws on so, dance. So... And the French national anthem. There we go. Jack... Yeah, Jack's French is so good, and mine is just so poor. But, you know what? I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. But it's the same as your Spanish. Like... No, when, Jack's when, no, Spanish, I know nothing. Yeah, but when one of the barmen gives you a drink, you go... Thank you. Just say gracias. It's not hard, is it? Uh, Just I to think... try to grow. Or yeah, hola. But... You say hola. I haven't said hola. I mean, you know, no, you go to a bar and go hello. Just I know. Just I can't help it. Just comes out. Language. It just comes out because I'm you. I'm used to speak like growing up. I never went abroad, so I'm really used to just speaking English. And then when I've tried, like the first time when I went to Paris, I've tried speaking in French, and the man just spoke to me in English, yeah, and I was do like, that, they appreciate that you're trying to speak their language but they know that you're not French, so they'll speak in your language. Well, it's better than just going, all right. Like, all right, geezer. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, but I'm gonna try and speak some Spanish. I, we both said we'd like to learn another language, didn't we? You don't need to learn French, you know French. <laughs> Spanish. I've been learning Spanish as well. I, you did learn Spanish after you went to Gran Canaria, or I before. Was about, I was about to speak Spanish to the, the woman at the Hard Rock Cafe earlier. Oh yeah, so it's and, a hard rock um, cafe. Literally about to speak Spanish, and she could obviously just tell we were English and just spouted something out in English. So yeah, you well, well you practiced. Oh, I didn't need to see my head. Had like to that. say um, table for two, please. Yo necesito un mesa para dos personas. And she went table for two. <laughs> so she's done. Did I've really been rehearsing chance. it for months. I know. <laughs> she's well, sold my moment of glory. My there. Spanish is so limited. Do you remember in Gran Canaria? So I will tell you this embarrassing story about me. We were having a look at what was on, oh, yeah. <laughs> on like entertainment wise the next day. And I saw <laughs> this thing and I said, Esta noche. Jack, esta noche is playing tomorrow. And no, tonight. Tonight or whatever. Because it means tonight <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and yeah, he laughed and so did someone behind me, and I was like, "We had one today, though. I think did we mention it? I don't remember if you mentioned it earlier. Hopefully not. We were getting <laughs> some caramel ice cream, and it said dulce de leche, which is like sweet of. I think it translates as sweet of milk or apparently. something like that, which is Spanish. Um, no, it's not because she said it's Argentinian. She just said it's Spanish. Yeah, but they speak Spanish in Argentina. What was the point in telling me it was so Argentina? So it said dolce de leche or whatever, and Becca went, I'll have a dolce leche. Dolce, no, dolce lec. Dolce lec. And me you know we did just like, used oh. to say it was dolce lec, and then I didn't realise there was a d in it, and dolce she, de she knew what I meant when I got my caramel ice cream. That's all that matters. But yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off. I need to teach you some languages, basically. We're going to head to bed, and tomorrow is our last full day. So we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Final lunch, I've got pizza, pork chop, chicken, chips. Jack's got what the hell that is. Not for me. So we're just heading out on our last night to go out for dinner. We're gonna go out of the hotel tonight, aren't we? Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Um, and I've got this play suit on. Um, and this bag again, which I've worn. And I don't know if I'm showing my sandals. These sandals, which I keep worrying that are gonna break because Jack keeps standing on the end of them. Um, or Jack did it twice. Three times in a day. Three times in a day. Um, and I can't get them again. Well done, drinking your water. But yeah, we're gonna head out for dinner and maybe watch a bit of the sunset. Don't know if you can tell, I actually straightened my hair today and still put it in a bun. <laughs> I straightened it thinking I was gonna be putting it in a bun and then it got really humid and I was like, it's definitely going into a bun now. 
but yeah we're gonna probably we're just weighing up whether or not we see the sunset or not we need to kick off we're gonna see it setting yeah but um it's whether we go and actively do that or get dinner because jack's really hungry so <laughs> we'll see so we're just walking towards the i'm gonna call it a beach the sea view, the sea view. and every day we've walked past these new houses that are being built and i said to jack like it's not a poor area by any means but i was just not expecting to be as modern and expensive looking if that makes sense yeah i mean we're in quite a quiet part of new york yeah um but they just like look really nice i mean they, they all look the same <laughs> the ones on the other side of the road. oh yeah the ones the other side are like the orangey but i still think they look nice but these ones look yeah really posh and posh um but like you know when you see new builds in the uk they don't look like that do they <laughs> these look proper like expensive but like, in the uk at least half a million for that i mean not holiday homes you won't build them in the uk because well it's not like a house yeah but you do get some of them they're just not new builds like you get some really modern like self-build done ones don't you yeah. but yeah just thought i'll show you because i think they look really nice so we can see like obviously it's not an actual sunset there's this cute little cave here thing but um yeah i don't know whether or not we're going to walk down because there's no actual path i don't think so it's not very safe but also i think there's only one restaurant down there so i don't know whether or not it's worth uh -huh. it um, to go down. I don't know, I don't but yeah, we're just trying to decide whether or not it's worth going down. So if there's only one restaurant, don't know whether or not it's going to even be food that we like. And it's bloody trek. I'll show you the size of the hill that we're contending with. But um, these people there are going for it, but I think they're Spanish. Bits down there and we just don't know what you think okay we're well, going for it then but you're not allowed to moan on the way back about walking up a big hill oh it was your idea so yes i am <laughs> you're trying to find a way to get down oh i just don't know because like every time i like i saw on tiktok people going on steps and i can't see steps there's going to be steps somewhere look there's the steps to get down onto the main bit we're, yeah. we're gonna to have to walk back up a big hill no okay, as long way. as we go slowly, I'll be a bit careful. Okay? Mm. Alright, Jack, I can't. I've got bloody sandals on. I can't. That just sounds run. like your problem. You? Twit. So we're walking the hill <laughs> and it's risky because there's cars literally come on our side of the road on that end. But we don't cross. Yeah, it's a gorgeous view. And the time of night we've come is perfect. Um, but that is the hill. That we've come down, <laughs> got a blimmin' play suit and sandals on, and that's kind of the view. So it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think if we didn't, we would have regretted not doing it. But we just don't know what we're gonna find. So we made it <laughs> alive. Looks amazing. That's like a little beach restaurant thing, I think, but it's not, I don't know, it's not really very vibey. <laughs> but um, I think we're gonna end up watching the sunset because kind of sitting in front of us um yeah that was our little walk down at least you know i made it um but yeah i think we can take some pictures and just taking the last of the really pretty sunsets um because it's quite rare actually that i get to see a nice sunset but it looks lovely Man, look at the color of the sky that's incredible how are you not vlogging this you are, aren't you? I was filming it. Going, going, going. So look at the colour of the sky that's left there. Reminds me of that Lion King. This is what Jack's got me walking up in these sandals. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna actually fall. Yes, I am. I've got to get up there <laughs> in these sandals. <laughs> You've got trainers on. God help me.
So we made it up the hill. Easily. Not easily. My shoes, I had to clean them. <laughs> and it was just very stony and uneven for someone in sandals. And now in my outfit, I feel like I need to have a shower because <laughs> I'm all sweaty. But we're gonna go and get something to eat because we haven't eaten and we're too late to get back to the hotel and eat. So yeah, we have half an hour. I'd yeah, but by out. the time we actually get there as well, yeah. would we? Let's go out. So somewhere with a nice pizza. Hopefully we can get pizza somewhere. Imagine if everywhere's like full because it's Friday. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Well, as Jack said otherwise, there's like a... Jack went to me, oh, there's a, um, like a chicken takeaway place. I didn't mean to go and like this at the start. Basically, thought... somewhere that sounds the equivalent of going to a KFC <laughs> for dinner, I said, Jack, I'm not going to a we KFC to, uh, equivalent. In a... We went to Popeye's yesterday in the town. That's a bit different, like, I'm not going out for my main meal on my last day of holiday um, to a bloody KFC equivalent. So let's hope there's somewhere good. So we're gonna go here for dinner, we think. I, think, they... I just want to see the merchant of the pizza that I like the look of. Which one do you like the look of? Pepperoni, spicy salami, bacon and mushrooms. But they can't cook bacon over here, can they? I wouldn't say that, that's going in the vlog. Okay. They can't cook bacon over there. I'll uh, give that a go. Guess what Double I'm gonna get. Ugh, I'm pizza now. It's called focaccia. So, this is the plan. So, for starter, we've got a garlic bread to share and nachos to share. You know we're sharing them, right? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got a margarita pizza. It looks absolutely huge on camera. Like, it is a good size, but not <laughs> to this video, Jack. It looks so big. I don't know why. It's quite big. Um, and chips and what what pizza did you get? Do you actually know? The Diablo or something. Oh, yeah, it said um, mushrooms, chicken, peppers, and hot sauce. So and lots of is this oregano? Yeah. Yes. So Yours looks quite good to be fair. Yeah, happy. in the camera it looks huge. We'll let you know how we get on. Jack. Yes. How was it? Very good. I'm Jack full. is defeated. I didn't That's eat the crust. because I'm not a child, I eat my crust. No, my I, do, I do eat the crust, I just don't eat it. The whole thing, it said it had hot sauce in it. None, probably about three quarters of the pizza wasn't spicy, and then that last bit just sent me. But you loved it. Yeah. It I loved lovely. it too. But Jack honestly struggled, he's only just finished. <laughs> and he looked so defeated, didn't you? Oh, well, I nearly was, but I have a clean plate. <laughs> yeah. You don't. We did, we did good. I win. Now it's time to get a cocktail. Decided to start packing our cases for going home, and I'm ashamed to say this is all the stuff that I haven't worn. Yeah, I know quite a few bits, but actually, I did wear that dress, but I didn't wear it for very long, so I can't actually rewear it before I wash it. And I wore this blazer, but like. Let's be real, it's a blazer, doesn't need washing. Um, in my defence, I don't know what the vibe is going to be like. That's my only defence. So I'm basically going back with a full, full suitcase. And I've put all the dirty washing on one side of Jack's. And again, there's more of my stuff. He's That's all Jack's got left that he didn't wear. Bless him. Whoops. But I feel like, as a girl, you need more options. And as someone who's not, like, always, like, I don't always put on an outfit and I'm like, yeah, that's comfy. Sometimes I struggle with that kind of thing. Then I feel like I just needed loads of options. I didn't know what we were going to be doing. So the fact that we went to Palmer, we only decided to do that whilst we were here. So I didn't really bring that many daytime options. I brought a lot more evening options than I needed to. But that's because, as I say, I didn't know the vibe. I wore them chino shorts twice, which I probably wouldn't have done if it was more dressy. I'd have worn two of those suits. So, yeah, we're going to pack up our stuff because we're getting picked up really early tomorrow, like five to seven in the morning. 
So we're going to pack everything now. So we don't have to do that in the morning. So it's home time now. So we've just checked out. What's the time? Seven o'clock. Yeah. Seven o'clock in the morning. So we're just um, waiting for our transfer back to the airport. Get and then we might be getting a Burger King. I'm not actually that hungry to be honest. Neither am I. <laughs> but just got to be done. If it's Burger King, yeah. Yeah, but it's currently still dark. So I wonder if we will see the sunrise. I mean, from the coach, it's not going to be very nice, is it? But Not quite like that view we had yesterday. No. But hopefully there's no delays. You said there isn't at the minute, didn't you? No, it, just, it really winds me up. I'm going to sound really grumpy. Just pick a time. Why do you need a half hour window? Just say, right, it's going to be there at quarter Because if seven. some people are late... Anyway, no, I meant a delay it. on the plane. I know you did. Uh, no, no delay as of yet. Okay, well, we'll let you know if it changes. So we are back from our holiday, aren't we? We are. But we landed and it was like 30 degrees. It's, I think it's probably hotter here. Nine hours? <laughs> so, I came home and I wanted to play Madden straight away. And an update that's going to take nine hours, apparently. So I'm not playing Madden. No, you're not. That's a shame. Um, yeah, it's hotter here than it was in yes. Mallorca. And there's no swimming pool in our back garden to jump no. in. No, and I was saying to Jack, you know how sometimes you feel like you can't. there's not enough hours in the day to get something done? We've flown from another country. We wandered around um, a town when we got back, grabbed something to eat, and popped into Jack's three work, and yes. Yeah, that was half three. Half three. Um, back in time to watch the football. We are back in time to watch the England game. But um, this morning... So as I'm filming this this morning, Jack's parents are currently in Morocco on holiday and there's just been quite a big earthquake. Um, a very big earthquake. Yeah, where unfortunately over, I think it's a thousand At the minute it's over a thousand, yeah. So I woke up this morning away. to a text from my mum saying, um, I don't know, yeah, the bed was rocking last night and yeah, I that thought sounds that's a, a bit weird <laughs> um, but... and then she said obviously they felt the tremors my mum's quite dramatic but she said that she felt like she actually sort of bounced in the bed when it went or when it went off and then yeah they got evacuated from their room and had to sort of stand out at the front of the hotel they're quite a bit outside of Marrakesh only like 20 30 minutes so yes yeah, so they're okay but obviously your parents are okay but obviously unfortunately there's been a lot more aren't okay i think the number will keep growing as well it tends to oh 12 minutes maybe i will get a play sorry um it, yeah i think the number will sadly keep growing it tends to with yeah. like, natural disasters and i that. said to jack i've just seen on um instagram one of those like pages that i follow said that it's like the biggest one of the biggest ones in i don't know whether or not it's true but that it's one of the biggest ones in the in the century so it sounds like it's not very good. We're only 20 odd years into the century. 23 years. Well, yeah, it depends whether or not it's of the century. The last or century or it, the yeah, current exactly. century that we were exactly. It's bad, whichever Yeah, regardless. So they are due back tomorrow? Monday. So they're due back in a couple of days' time. Yeah. Um, they're staying out there, I think. What do you mean? Like beyond Monday? No, as in like now, because I think a lot of people... Well, you said part of the airport's damaged, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I don't know for sure. It's just something I read online. Don't believe everything you read online. Yeah. But, yeah, they're staying out there till till Monday. Till when they're meant to. Well, I, it must still be going, because one of my friend's um, sisters is heading out there oh, tonight. Oh, flights. I thought you meant the earthquake. No, yeah, I meant flights. They're yeah. heading out there tonight, and it hasn't been cancelled yet, so... No, but, um, yeah, so that wasn't very... Nice, because obviously when you read that, we were a bit worried because, I mean, obviously they text us, so we knew they were okay, but you know, when you're just a bit like... Even still, yeah, it's a bit what, scary. What, and yeah, as I say, luckily, luckily they're okay, but very sad to hear about all the people who aren't. Um, but yeah, we're just going to chill out for a little bit, because it's, yeah, as I said, it's 30 degrees here, and then we're going to... We were gonna, up early, early start today, so we were I'm pretty up tired. Early, um, and then we're going to head to watch um the england game this on i've just had a look so look at jack's arm we noticed this bruises oh yeah bruises oh my god how bad that, that looks looks well bad on there so he had a little one a couple of days ago didn't you was it there though 
I think so. Basically, I think Becca's attacking me in my sleep because Don't, I wake this up. This is going online, Jack. Do not. I wake say up that every now and then with like scratches all over my arms and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, which and I thought because my nails. That, that looked long. well bad on that there. That bruise is really bad, and I've got one as well. In the same place on the other arm. Yeah. Oh, yours is a bit further up. Mine's not as bad at all, but that wasn't as bad as that a That's couple of days really ago. That's really bad. Yeah. I wonder what it is. I oh, promise well, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, um, you would say that. But yeah, we're going to chill out for a bit. But that's going to end this holiday vlog. Holiday is over. <laughs> Which is sad. Holiday is over. A couple um, of days left before we go back to work. Though. Yeah. But we will... Um, yeah, I need to do like all the unpacking and the washing, don't we? NFL starts tomorrow. I'm busy. No. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and hit like. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video.